So my expectation is I want to be free. I want to stop wearing that wig that I've given her to keep for me. I want to have normal hair, like, like every other woman. Yes. I will introduce you to the surgical team first of all. Um, we are guests in the Karine's room now. Hi. Hello. My name is uh, Karine Kapamba and I'm from Zambia. My name is Mura Kapamba and I'm also from Zambia. Uh, I'm so happy. Yes, we are actually sisters. She's older and I'm younger, though I've got a bigger body. <laughs> <laughs> we traveled all the way from Zambia to come and have our hair transplant because we started, we started having hair loss like in 20... 2008, 2009, and yes. since then our hair has never grown back. So I started feeling uncomfortable. uncomfortable. I'm always wearing wigs, so I told myself, why not try the hair transplant? And I found Small Hair Clinic on Instagram. I said, I will give it a go. And here I am, so I'm expecting some positive results and some massive hair growth on my hair. Yes, because we, 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 you know, we are Africans, and Africans love to do different hairstyles. Yeah. But we can do it because we don't have hair in front. So we are very excited. And everybody at home is waiting to go and see what's going to happen. Yeah. So please, please, we need to have a lot of hair like, like yours. <laughs> we are looking forward to the operation. Thank, Thank you. you. Fourteen years ago, it's actually when you were still young, in your early twenties. So, uh, Mura, first of all, we'll start with the planning of the surgery. Okay, uh, what do we do during the planning? It will be the same for you as well, sh uh, uh, shortly, Karina. During the uh, planning step, first of all, we evaluate your donor area for both of you. It means the back side of the head and around the ear areas, where we do the extraction or the harvesting of the hair follicles. Okay, it has receded pretty much. Like it, it has deep recessions at the design. Yes. Hi, dear followers. Uh, I'm Dr. Ahmedov, hair transplant surgeon from Smart Hair Clinic. Today, we have two fancy, beautiful ladies sisters at the same time who came for the hair transfer surgery okay uh, the type of the hair loss uh, both of them have is very unique but actually is very specific we call it the traction alopecia traction alopecia most of the time happens in the very front side of the hairline and on the temple sides and the most common reason for this is the very tight hair styling starting from very young age all the time due to the traction the hair fall because the blood supply is stretched and all the time the blood supply to the grafts diminish they become thinner thinner and eventually you lose them you can see small like fluffy baby like hairs here it gives us the an idea it's a traction alopecia it's very unique the pattern is in the front side and goes slightly to the back the back side of the head the mid scalp most of the time is in a much more better condition unfortunately for this type of patients uh, the most efficient way in our days is still the hair transfer surgery specifically slightly progressive types when the recessions are too deep for this type uh, of hair loss uh, most uh, most of the time we require one surgery but the second surgery for some densification may be required and the need for the second surgery it also depends on the capacity of the donor of the donor area to give a sufficient number of the graft so for now we plan the conservative hairline higher mostly concentrating on both temples of the patient and if needed depending on the number of the grafts we may require second surgery for some densification of the other areas as well stay tuned my name is Mura Kapamba I'm 36 years old I am from Zambia and I am a lawyer by profession. And my name is Karin Kapamba, and I'm from Zambia, and I'm also a lawyer by profession. Around 2009. But I think for me it started a little bit earlier, I think around 20, 20, 0, 5, 6, somewhere there. And since then my hair has just been falling off, falling off, falling off, up until I got to this stage. 
I think it's it's because we tend to to pull our hair, we tend to plait and pull the hairline, so we are weakening the follicles and the vessels, and before you know it, everything is gone. But I think also for me, it's, I think it's genetical, because certain people plait their hair and it doesn't fall off. For me, I've even gone as far as cutting my hair bald, but the front uh, part still didn't grow back, but the back parts grew back thicker and thicker. So I think it's also more genetical as opposed to actually even pulling the hair, but both of them are valid reasons. Pulling the hair are also genetical. I did so many searches about clinics, hair clinics in Turkey because I was told Turkey is the best place to go for hair surgery. So I've seen lots of clinics, I've spoken to many doctors around Turkey until I came across Smile Hair Clinic and I really studied your page and I saw people's um, results were really good, both African hair and Caucasian hair. So I thought to myself, why not? And the hospital is clean, good service, so I decided to take a shot and then also there's a, one of your clients I spoke to from the United States who came for a hair transplant here. I can't remember her name, but she's a black lady. She took me through her experience at hair clinic and she showed me her before and after pictures. And her hair her growth was really, really, really good. And I told myself, why not? I can also try small hair clinic and hoping for the best results. What about you, Mo? How did you find it? I found it from you. You were the one that did all the searches. <laughs> I was always just waiting for her to tell me what next. I didn't have a problem because we, we have a friend of ours, a man who came, I think in 2016, he was going bald and he did the surgery and, and he's okay, the hair has grown. So when she told me about it and I'd seen that guy, though he didn't come to Smile Hair Clinic, he came to Turkey, but another clinic. So when I saw his hair growing, I was like, why not? Let me give it a try. And I do not regret at yeah. all. And on top of that, I knew the only solution to my problem was transplant. Because I've tried all possible solutions. I've tried hair creams, I've tried tablets, I've tried everything. The hair doesn't grow back. So I knew the only solution to my problem was to do a hair transplant, which I've done today. The anesthesia was painful. Yeah, so the only painful part is when you're getting the local anesthetic. Yeah, the rest. The rest, because your, your head is numb, you're not feeling anything anymore, so you don't feel anything. And even after, we, we didn't experience, you know, like bad pain or bad bleeding, because we, we are taking the medication that we were given, but the after experience is, is not bad. Yeah and, yeah, and just to add on, the, the staff that were attending to me were very good. They were able to give me time to rest. If I tell him stop, he was stopping. I would sit upright. Then when, when, he, when I'm ready, I would tell him I'm ready. Then again, I would sleep and then he would continue and continue. It was just, the whole procedure was lovely. I literally slept throughout. I didn't even see when the doctor was doing the incisions. I slept. <laughs> I do not know. <laughs> if I was to rate you one out of ten, I'll give you ten plus one. It, it's yes. perfect service. Yeah, very good service. Even the the case officer always available to text us, tell us what's going on. Yeah. Always available to answer questions. Yeah. You are very good at your job. Always want to take in videos of us. Yeah. The doctor was very funny. The staff know what they're doing. It's yeah. it's like she said, 10 you, plus. You guys are very professional. Even before we came, you were able to remind us your operation is in three days. We are waiting for you. You you know your job. They actually sent us um, an, a video of the airport so that when we get here, we do not get lost. Yes. Perfect sense. 100% <laughs> plus one. Yes, I will recommend Smile Hair Clinic because this place is just lovely. You get it's the service for the money that you paid. The hospital is nice, it's clean, the staff are good, the operation area is clean, the, 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 the kit for the surgery, the one that we were wearing on is clean, everything is very, very nice. So I would recommend my friend or anyone else to come to Smile Hair Clinic because of that. I was gonna say the same thing that she said. I would recommend Smile Hair Clinic because of what my sister said good staff perfect customer service clean environment 
and even the hotel they took us to. Oh, the hotel. It's, it's perfect. Fantastic. It's perfect. So On everything point. in the package is perfect. So I would yeah. recommend Smile. The yeah. money I paid is worth it. Yes, yeah. value for money, as we call it in Zambia. I don't know about here. <laughs> so if to women out there, because I've noticed a lot of we, or a lot of men are the ones who are doing the hair transplant. I don't know why women are not doing it. So if you notice that that your hair has fallen off, especially the 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 front, the hairline and you've tried all the products you can, you know, the shampoos, the peels, the creams, and nothing is working. I think the best is hair transplant. Like we say in Africa, the pride of a woman is her hair. So for you to be very, 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 very confident, you need to have good hair. And for you to have that good hair, you need to have hair transplant from the best clinic, not any other clinic. And the best clinic for us is Smile Hair Clinic. Yeah, because most, most women, are, they're actually scared of hair transplants. They think it's some complicated procedure, but actually it's not even a complicated procedure. So I would advise them to actually come for hair transplant because that's the only solution to their problem. Because looking at my experience, for the past 15, 14 years I've had hair loss, my hair has never grown back. Never. I've tried all products, I've spent so much money, but my hair has never gone back. So I would encourage that person or that woman to actually try to do a hair transplant. Maybe that way, if they can afford it, I will encourage them to come and do it. And I will definitely tell them, tell them to come and do it from Smile Care Clinic. Follow the true transformation.